Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to give actionable feedback. Essentially, as leaders, this is one of the most important activity that you would need uh, to master. And, and I'm going to share a playbook on how you can make that happen. Now, when you think about feedback, there are two types of feedback. Reinforcement feedback, that is giving a praise, and redirecting feedback, which is criticism, criticism or things to improve. Another way to actually put this as well, in fact, there's a great book here uh, called Radical Candor, where they, it's defined as feedback in the form of praise, criticism. You know, you look for giving, getting, and encouraging. That's, that's uh, the way to think about feedback. Now, whether it's good crit praise or criticism, the question is, why give feedback, right? And there are a couple of reasons for it. Firstly, the intention is to help employees grow rather than to show you know, that they are wrong. So clearly the feedback here is to help or give in from a growth standpoint, right? And the key point here is when you're thinking of feedback, it should increase, not drain the motivation and the resources for making a change. So when preparing, uh, for your conversation, you know, being very, very clear what you want to achieve as a result of giving that feedback. Now, if you're delivering negative feedback, you know, um, it's very important that you have to make sure that motivates change instead of making the other person feel defensive. So you have to make it safe uh, in terms of the receiver to receive the feedback, reflect on it, and learn from it. So those are the key aspects. When you think of feedback, feedback is all about influencing change in the individual more from the standpoint of applying it moving forward you know obviously there's no way to go back in time so that's the aspect of feedback when giving feedback be very clear in your mind what is the motivation or what is the change you're expecting as a result of giving this feedback and feedback is really a must have we all are in the growth trajectory we need to give as well as encourage to encourage folks to give uh, and get feedback, um, you know, wherever possible. So, when you think about feedback, there's a very concrete model in terms of making feedback actionable, and it's called SBI, Situation Behavior Impact. So, imagine you get a feedback; it's too vague. Hey, generally you seem to be doing X, Y, Z. Not very useful. You don't quite know what it means, where it's coming from. This is where the SBI model, in my experience, has been something which has been tremendously valuable. So S is a situation. Describe the situation. In this meeting, when we were discussing about this issue, right? So that's a situation. Behavior um, is basically what you saw, right? And here you are looking or expressing behavior more in terms of um, not pinning it on the person, but to focusing on the behavior, right? Um, in some sense, not saying that, you know, this, you know, you were wrong in this, but you can basically define it as, you know, you as a leader was expecting something different. You were looking for something different. And impact is what are the result of it? What did or did not get done? You know, maybe better information could have got gathered, you know, if this behavior is different or the deliverable would have been met if this behavior is different. So to give you some examples here, positive. So SBI, always remember this is both for praise as well as for redirection, right? It could be a praise. At the client meeting earlier, earlier during the day, for instance, you balance sharing your ideas and hearing them nicely. And the client told me that they thought we clearly understood their needs. So that's that's an example here. There's, there could be the inverse version of it, which is uh, which is more of the, the like redirecting or criticism. When you presented your proposal to a director, you presented everything and held all the questions until the end. And I noticed the director was didn't wasn't happy waiting until the end, right? Simple, straight feedback very concrete, very clear, not vague, something that someone can make it very actionable right away. Um, next time they're presenting, just take pauses to ask for any questions. 
So there are some elements of good feedback, right? Um, and there are these couple of rules that are, tend to be very, very useful. I have applied uh, in several situations. One is it has to be non-judgmental. Um, you know, you cannot be generalized. There's, you know, you always do this, right? Um, and you don't analyze the reasons the individual behave that way. That is, um, it, because those reasons are your perspectives, it may not be the facts. Like saying something like, do you have no respect for others, other people's ideas, right? You're assuming that they have no respect, right? So never analyze the reason, state the facts of what you saw. So not being judgmental, you're not judging you were wrong or right by missing on Slack. That's judgment. You cannot be generalized and cannot you cannot be thinking about reasons uh, behind that behavior. So this is these these are some things which play a very important role when if you start if you don't meet these aspects this is where it becomes more defensive that is you know people receiving the feedback will get more defensive. So once you've given the feedback, what next, right? Um, once the situation is defined, then you discuss and clarify as to you know what what was the situation create the options maybe next time around you could present differently um, you can have a cheat sheet whatnot depending upon what this thing is and agree on the next steps right and I, i'd like to add one more thing which is documented uh, it's always good uh, we are all growing this is in our busy schedules it's always good to have this more as a development plan where okay i can apply xyz do do these things better next time around that's really what the SBI model enables and you know straight typically a very straightforward thing one of my observations which has been um i'd say after giving tons of feedback mm -hmm. has been that a common root cause um, in many situations tends to be that the expectations were not clear so when a feedback is given especially uh, when deliverables are missed or something wasn't as per plan in terms of quality or schedule and whatnot, typically the first question tends to be, were the expectations clear? And were they clearly defined or were they more expected or assumed? So something to keep in mind as you're looking at feedback, uh, typically when you see this, uh, happening, you know, you know, the strategy is uh, definitely track it, but then ask yourself, what's the change you're looking for? And were your expectations clear? And if not, then for, at least for next time around, make your expectations clear, right? Such so that, um, and, and then sort of really make sure that, um, you know, you, you want to, um, you know, provide the feedback in the SBI model. The other aspect also is sometimes the feedback may not be agreed on, right? So the other individual may say, I disagree with, with this feedback. And in that case, essentially you're looking for the aspect of, here, um, what you need to do is to go back, double check on the facts. That's sometimes the facts may be incorrect, especially if your facts are secondhand. Um, facts may not be always accurate. So definitely go back and check um, the behavior, you know, assume that there were good intentions. But what you need to be very clear about is the impact. That is your expectation of what the impact was, the outcome was, has to be very clear, right? So you're not double guessing on the behavior, right? That is the behavior could be in good intent, um, but at the end of the day, it is the impact that you're giving feedback on, which is what you're expecting a change to happen. In fact, SBI works great for any interpersonal feedback, um, especially oftentimes the feedback would be hey, you keep interrupting people or, um, you know, you're not a team player, you're not being, you're being too quiet, you're being, not being proactive, right? And and sort of putting it in the SBI model, where at the end of end of this, you're making it very clear what do you want, and this is where you are defining I need, I want, 
um, specific things, right? Uh, as a result of this feedback, um, I need you to wait and listen. Uh, I want you to consider, again, this is an example. You can apply, you can pick your own examples there. So to sum it up, folks, um, I would like to actually summarize it firstly with this picture on the left. Um, this is essentially from, again, from the book Radical Candor. Um, it's a great book. It's a great read. And the book divides, creates a, a, a matrix or a two by two, right? Challenge directly, care personally, right? So essentially what uh, we need to be getting towards is, you know, we really care for individuals and to help them grow, be very direct and provide feedback. This is where radical candor comes in. You can be on the other extreme where you care deeply, but you don't decide to challenge directly, right? This is where you know, the book refers to it as ruminous empathy. The other scenario is you don't care about the individual, but you decide to challenge directly, which is where you get obnoxious aggression. And the final bucket is you don't care and you don't uh, challenge, in which case you are being manipulative, manip manipulative insincerity. Um, it's a great, great framework. Um, try, or the goal essentially is to get everyone in the radical candor quadrant uh, by, by both building a relationship, caring deeply, and then being very, very clear that you, we are here to grow together. And this is where you're providing direct input. So to sum it up, folks, three steps uh, in terms of providing actionable feedback. First, cover the details using the SBI model. Second, listen for the employee's perspective. Never guess the reason. Um, you may have very different viewpoints based on your values. Always look and hear employees' perspectives. That is what the other person thinks. And last is after you have a um, perspective, really define your expectations clearly and discuss the concrete next steps. So I want to leave you with an assignment. And the assignment here essentially is during your interactions with the team, make notes um, in the SBI format wherever your expectations are not being met. And making notes essentially will really help you gather details. You can then decide how and when you want to provide feedback. Um, oftentimes you may also see that some of this could be a result of expectations not being clearly defined. Um, clarifying those expectations, either in a team setting that you know we expect everyone to be heard, being inclusive. If those are those are kinds of examples there, um, and you know if the thing still persists, then definitely having having the SBI. So use use your best judgment. But a good assignment here would be to start gathering details, um, which and you'll find this tremendously valuable. Anytime your expectations are not being met in any shape and form, um, it would, would be good to start tracking that. That's all. I have for this session. I uh, hope you find hope you guys found this useful. Thank you.